I want to refer back to that equation that I had written. Um, the y equals, now these are all sine, but um, so it's a times the trig value and then bx. So the a value, kind of like when we used to have slope in, in the y intercept, same idea here. Like we have to look at the different parts of the equation. So what's the a value in this first one? What's a here? A is actually 1, yep. So the amplitude is just 1 because there's nothing in front of sine. So it would be the amplitude of 1. So that means my sine graph would go up 1, down 1. Then the period, what's the B value? What's B in this case? Yeah, 1 again. It's just what's in front of the x. So that's also 1. And the period, if you recall, what we just written up right up above, is 2 pi over our b. So 2 pi over 1. So this period would just be 2 pi. And we kind of already had done this like example when we graphed our first sine graph. So that one shouldn't have been like, you know, too like crazy exciting. Now this one has a couple of changes we need to make, though. So in this case, what's our A value? Our A is 2. So that's our amplitude. So what's that going to do to our graph? How is that going to look? It's going to be taller, right? So it's going to get taller than this one. So if I'm comparing it to this one, it would be twice the height. So it would go up higher and down lower. It would go up 2 and then down 2. So that would be our amplitude. That's how you get it taller. And then that B value, in this case, B is what? B is 4. So I have to take my, to figure out my period, I have to take 2 pi and divide it by 4. So what would that be? Pi over 2. So what that means is this graph would repeat by the time it gets to pi over 2. So rather than this being over here 2 pi, it would already have made that whole revolution, by, bless you, by pi over 2. So this graph would be a lot like skinnier. Does that make sense? Because it would like occur, like kind of like your heartbeat changes. Um, you know, like it got faster, we were doing something, you're running or something, and our heartbeat increased this would be like a faster heartbeat in this case, even though it's not exactly a sine graph, but has like there's similarities there. Okay. So, um, so the period in this case would be pi over two. So take a minute to think about what's happening in this last one in letter C. So the negative four and then the x over two. Think about what that means for that. I'll give you guys a minute if you haven't that changes how you are thinking about it. What's that? B is actually a half. 
Now the B is not the period, so just make sure that's clear. The B helps us determine the period. So to find the period, we do 2 pi divided by a half. We don't really divide by fractions. Instead, we, you can do it in the calculator. Or you multiply by the reciprocal. So dividing something by half is really the same thing as multiplying it by 2. So this actually becomes 4 pi is my period. So would this be a fast graph or a slow graph? Slow. So this one would be twice as long as this one. So it would go up and over. It would be really like spread out, like a slow moving graph then. And so starting to kind of think about those things would be important as we work to act our actual graphs here in a minute. All right. Do we need a break? Yes. Yes. I'm not used to school again, this whole school thing. <laughs> 